think it's about time that I introduced Jen to the channel. Hello. <laughs> just like the circumstances of both of our lives just aligned just perfectly. Because we were always really, really close, but it was always very platonic and, you know, yes. very much a friendship. Yes, yes, because both of us were in relationships at the time and, you know, nothing really went past just being friends. But and right around the same time, Jen's looking pretty good. What kind of boat is that out there? Which one? The one that's way out there. I don't know if that's a boat. Can you make it out? No, I, I don't even know what that is. It looks like an island. That one I think is a cruise ship though. You know what would make me really happy? What? Holden Hardman! As if you married me? I was with you the whole time! I know, I'm kind of sneaky. Will you marry me? Oh my god, yes, yes. Oh my god, no! <laughs> The great thing about Jen is that when you look in her eyes and she's looking back in yours, everything feels not quite normal because you feel stronger and weaker at the same time. You feel excited and at the same time terrified. The truth is you don't know what you feel except what kind of man you want to be. It's as if you've reached the unreachable and you weren't ready for it. You are my best friend, I love you, and I'm ready to commit my life and my heart to you forever. To say you have changed my life would be an understatement. I love that your answer is always to love me more. I promise to try every day to make you always feel the same love and acceptance. I promise to laugh at all your movie references, even though I've heard them a million times. <laughs> you are everything I need in this world. I love you until the end of the world. Awesome. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. And to be your faithful and loving husband. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. It's my privilege as a minister and by the authority given to me by the state of Florida that I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Holden, you may kiss this lovely bride. Mm -hmm. back from the OBGYN. We accidentally uh, missed our appointment and our appointment is now scheduled for January 4th, 2023. And uh, Jen secretly has been going through so much nausea and all this kind of stuff. We were hoping to also see a ultrasound of the baby. Um, and obviously pregnancy brain because I swear to God, she said 11. I had doubts and I think secretly I knew it was 9 a.m. Anyways, wrong time so we have to wait a couple more weeks which really bums me out because we were so excited to see little baby but that's okay it's been an emotional day we're kind of we're more settled down now but it's been an emotional day but we're we're okay we're gonna get to see the baby still and uh it's just a minor hiccup in the grand scheme of the pregnancy so, all okay <laughs> Since we missed our appointment earlier in November, we're going to this little private place to allow us to do an ultrasound because we're really desperate to see the baby. We're 10 weeks today. It's still too early to figure out the sex, but we get to see the baby and that is enough for us. Oh, 
Heart Week. We're moving. Feed her hands. Yes. Look, he's the cutest little thing. Yeah, very cute. Oh, yeah, he's just very active. Yeah, they come up with a little nice We do, we do. Did you, you see our baby and how much he moved? Was Let's she? say he. Because I think it's a boy. He was moving so much. He was jumping around, he was doing yoga. I loved it. I just want to do this every day. I like seeing it. I still, I, I think I have this preemptive dad brain. Like when we saw the baby like moving around a lot, I didn't know that they move that much that small, which is still cool. But my initial thought is, is the baby responding to the ultrasound? Like, is it like not like it? Is that why it's moving so much or does it just move that much all the time? So I'm like, is this actually safe for the baby? I don't know. Assuming it is, because I know everybody does it. It's, uh, it's really, really cool. And I, I love hearing the little heartbeat and seeing, you could see like the heart, like on the, I guess still on the like serious part of the baby, like physically moving. So that's really, really cool. So I'm very excited. I'm excited to, to move along. She told us that we could find out the sex of the baby at like 13 and a half, 14 weeks. So uh, we're actually, which is going to fall right in line with Christmas when we won't be here. So we'll probably have to wait till after to find out. Jen's been having a bit of an emotional morning this morning. Uh, our cabinet in our kitchen is like falling down forward. And uh, so I had to take out all the plates and all the dishes and everything out of it to keep it from falling. And she had a little bit of a moment. She started crying and, you know, so just the house is becoming such a mess. And oh, here she comes. We're gonna be getting the house clean soon. Okay, baby. Look. Look. House is falling apart. All of our stuff is out here. You want me to turn something out for you guys? Somebody came out and did a makeshift job just to keep it from falling down totally on us. Falcon. 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 Come on. Come on. Up here. Thanks more. Okay. Let's go get our blood draw. We're in the range now to determine the sex of the baby, but we don't want to wait till after December. We want to find out now. So we're going to go and get Jen's blood drawn and in a couple days they should tell us the sex of the baby. But it's fine if it's a girl because it'll actually be easier name wise because we already have a girl name picked out. It is late. I am in the office editing some videos that are probably really old now by the time this comes out. Jen just texted me from the other room saying that the results of our baby's gender have just come in. So it's a big moment. Did you look at it already? No, I didn't. I saw the email pop up and I immediately got out because I knew that you were going to ask me that. Okay. Do you want to read it? Yeah. I'm going to be the first to know in the whole universe. Okay, so when we uh, look back, this will be a testament. I'll be the first one to know. They're doing a, they do a countdown on the email. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I know what it is. What? I'm actually going to get a little emotional. What? But I can't tell you. You have to <laughs> tell me. Tell me. I'm gonna have to turn it up a little bit. This is fine. Not Tell me! Are you, are you ready? Yeah. It's a baby 
boy. No, it's it not. Is, it is. No, it's not. <gasps> we like we, will, we are team boy. The entire... We wanted a boy. I would love a girl. I absolutely would love whatever the good Lord wanted to give me, but we were hoping for a boy. I know. I know. Are you okay? What would you benefit if I had a girl? I would, have been, I would have been really happy to. We have yet to decide on a boy. But the boy name, let me tell you, I went through an entire, how many, was it 100,000? 100,000 names. 100,000 names. <laughs> and it's not like we went through every single we, one of them. Like we got some that were like, maybe, which we all know is not like, it's not gonna be any of those. We have not, at this point, come to an agreement on a boy name. We're like, I don't even think we're close. We're in the we're in the ballpark. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because this will be more incentive for us to. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's not sarcastic. I'm very thankful. He just didn't I'm want to happy. be outnumbered. I'm very happy to be having a son. No, we gotta cut. Do, do you want to go tell? Yeah. yeah. Are you excited? I'm, ex I'm very, I'm very happy. It makes me very happy. Savannah told us outright that she wants it to be a boy because she wants to be the she only- No, no, no. Threatened us. <laughs> she wants to be the only daughter in the household. Are you decent? Or are you dressed as a cow? Happy now. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. What is it going to be? Is it the first one? Yes. It's a sneak. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> it's not a cow! You're the only daughter in the house still. Oh. We're gonna be outnumbered. No, because you still have the dogs. She's a different species. So what? You treat her like she's a child. <laughs> it's a baby boy! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta think of names. Gohan. And it's not a girl! You've been answering my prayers. Okay, alright, relax. Second floor. We're back at the hospital trying for our OB appointment one more time. We're at the Wendy's we used to have lunch together all the time at. Jen's been getting a little emotional because this just being in the hospital, we, this is where we met and we knew each other for years prior to you know us getting together. It's where we first met. Titanic, anyone? It's nice being back here and we're back here for the purpose of uh, seeing our baby together, which is really exciting. So it's a little emotional, but in a good way. I'm really enjoying going down memory road, and so it's a good day. We had a lot of good memories here. We, we've, you see here, we had the subway across the way, and there's like a little outside area we did out a lot, because Jen would always get cold inside, and I pr <laughs> prefer to eat indoors, but. So we'd go out there and all the bugs would get on the food and the wind would blow the napkins away. And for some reason, people like that more than being inside. But yes, now we're here for the baby. It's very exciting. We're not on a time crunch. We don't have, you know, 22 minutes after you put in your order. That's about the time that we had to eat. But it's kind of like being back in school, you know? It's like, wow, I really miss just like the atmosphere. But you're also just happy seeing it from afar. So um, it's nice to be here for like a different purpose. We're doing our announcement photos. By the time anybody sees this, this will be way old news. But right now I just did a quick little picture and I got a little Little Dragon Ball Z outfit, little Hollywood production thing. We took quite a few of those. I think we landed on one that we like. And now we're doing Jen's. Trying to decide what outfit she wants to use. We're going to another ultrasound appointment. We're hoping that we could also maybe do a 4D thing that they do, so 4D, where they can see the baby's face, like details in the baby's face. We might be seeing if we could switch over to do that, but 
we'll see. We're gonna go see our baby today. I'm hoping that he is moving around a lot because I've been feeling a little flutter. Like not an all out movement, I would say, but I can definitely feel that they're starting. Cause he was moving around last time, like kind of shaking his butt a little bit, but I would like to see some more movement. So I'm really excited. just like Holden to a T. He has his lips and then also he did this look kind of like an angry face or like a confused face and Holden has that look. I immediately noticed it. He may have my eyes but through and through looks like Holden and he was moving so much. He had like his arm or his hands and his legs all bunched up together and he was like kicking a lot, trying off his legs. Definitely a boy. We saw it. Wow. Um, so definitely a boy. It was, ugh. I just, I just want to buy an ultrasound machine so I can do this every day and see him. They said he looks like me. It really does. I see it 100%. There was that one we saw, this one here. He looks just like the mummy from the first movie. When it's the mummies in the sand, you know? What was the mummy's name? Amun Ra? No. Omar? No. Omar? <laughs> <laughs> the mummy Omar. Anaksuna Moon was the girl. Mm -hmm. Emotep. Emotep. That's right. Duh. But very cool. And he has grown a lot since the first time we were here. It looks like just like a little tadpole or something. Now he's got like features and he's making faces and moving and yawning and opening his mouth. And we want to get a couple of uh, baby things. We're still several months out. Baby's room is not set up. Nothing is set up, but we've been buying just like a couple of clothes, just things here and there. So we don't have to get it all at once down the line. We'll all have it all, well at least have started. So we're going to see if we can find a little stuffed animal because the other kids have little stuffed animals they've had since they were infants. So we're gonna see if we can find something, maybe a couple other knickknacks yep. uh, to make it a little bit more financially easier over time. Wanna well, look at this for the next 20 years? I'm not really feeling the stuffed animals here. Okay. There's only like a couple. We can always look at a couple other stores too. Okay, but I like this blanket. Okay, you wanna Do get you like this blanket? Yeah. Have up to two years. So we want to consider doing plant-based. No. It's early in the morning and uh, Jen is working on our little baby book. She asked me to grab a picture of the two of us. Is that a good one? That's a good one. Thank you. I don't know how much of this. I'm just doing like our immediate family. I mean, you can write in your family stuff. There's the picture of Kirill's parents. The, the exact year that we started working together. Was it 2016 or 2017? I think it was 16. 2016. Their first impressions of each other were... Why don't you go first? My first impression of Holden was that he was very funny, very kind, very easy to be around. Mom had that thick cake. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just joking. Just a joke. <laughs> I thought that you were very easy to get a, along with too. I, I, th I think I instinctively knew that we would have been good friends which we were for several years but mom was very fun to work with and obviously beautiful highlights of their courtship and early relationships were um probably us i would say us eating at uh, sushi masa after work a few times for uh -huh. me uh, and watching I, movies yeah spending time outside of work and i think you were coming over to my apartment every once in a while and um we would watch some tv and 
just hang out when the friendship phase was like is there something else here is this going somewhere you know during that whole period of time you know having fun spending time with each other and it just was something that developed naturally yeah we didn't have to worry about getting to know each other yeah because we already knew each other really well how they spent their days before me more money in bank. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just well, I'm not kidding. That is true. We're the type of couple that we can be sitting in bed together, but you know, each of us reading our own thing, yeah, and be content with that. Mom is watching 90 Day Fiance, which by the time the child sees this, will be ancient and forgotten. Or they'll be on season season 87. <laughs> I was literally laying in bed and we were getting ready to film. I was feeling a lot more gassy than normal. Usually that's daddy's territory. I had like a headache and I just did not feel right. I'm like, what is going on? And I was like a day late on my period, which was not out of the ordinary. I wasn't like to the day, but when I realized like this just doesn't feel right. Oh, and the other thing was I was peeing at night, which is not like me. I sleep through the night. I don't ever get up to pee. Again, that's dad's territory. Um, so peeing and I also was really hot at night, which was not normal. I am like a freeze baby. Once I started thinking about these things, I was like, oh my gosh. And just to like, I, I think I knew, but to confirm it, I like, of course, Googled and I was like, top five signs of pregnancy. And I went down the line and literally every single one, I was like, oh my gosh. And I just knew. And I just had to take a pregnancy test. So I took it and I remember taking a video of it with the results coming up at least. Oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. You know, he always like does that, the head tilt thing. And um, he started kissing on me and started loving on me. And um, I think one of the first things that he said was, I'm so happy or something to the effect of that, basically conveying that he was happy. I was, I just like knew and my anxiety was going up, like in a good way though. I was very, very happy. I was, um, I was very excited. I thought you were joking with me at first though. I was trying to be um, sensitive to you because I know that you were you know, I was I emotional. freaking out, so I'm trying to be that rock. But uh, I was very, very happy, and um, you know, obviously, I can't, can't wait to meet the little guy. Jen and I went out, and we got our baby crib. We got a lot of stuff for the rooms. So the plan is to change the office here. It's going to convert to the baby room because our bedroom is right across the way there. So the baby will be close to us, and we're going to move the office downstairs. So uh, I've enlisted the help of. Dane and Jarek, who are essentially my brothers. I don't know how to, uh, we, I don't know how to ex explain our past, but they've come over to help me, and uh, we're gonna move this stuff over. We're gonna get rid of the guest bed. We're gonna get rid of the dresser. This is gonna go into the garage until I can find a more permanent place for it, probably sell it or toss it. cleared out the room. Now we're just working on organizing upstairs to make the transition with all the electronics a little less cumbersome because it's a lot of stuff and it's easy for stuff to get mixed up and lost. Our living room is looking very cluttered. Waiting for the robot to finish vacuuming in there. I'm gonna give it a, like once over with the mop and then I'm gonna move all this stuff in there. Just uh, probably just in there still before it's drying. Okay. We've moved all the desk stuff from upstairs down here. It is very, very cluttered. As you can see, that's my Norman Osborn. That was a fan actually gave that to me. So this is gonna be a project for the next day or so. Making some good headway, I'd say. Here's the old office for the floors to dry. I'm gonna have to remove all of these as well. And then the 
process of putting the crib together and Jarek is working on the dresser and Dane is handling the trash. <laughs> all the styrofoam and cardboard that came with all this stuff. So we've been going at this for a while now. We're starting to get a little fatigued, but make us a good headway, I'd say. Crib's all done. Mm -hmm. They're regretting coming over here and helping out. <laughs> no. Deeply. <laughs> Glad we got it all assembled. Jarek's pretty much done the whole dresser by himself. I held it once or something. <laughs> the next big thing I'm worried about is my sound panels because they're leaving this like residue on the wall. So I'm gonna try to get some goo gone and maybe you know just pull them off and if that doesn't work not sure what to do about that. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, we've had a very full day. Got more done than I was expecting, so very good. Thank you guys for all your help. And thanks to Jared. <laughs> We're on our way to our next uh, OB appointment. We're a couple days away from being 28 weeks. Almost 28 weeks. So um, we are over halfway there but um i feel like it's really slowed down it feels like it's slowed down time is slowed down uh this is probably like the slowest part of the pregnancy so far it just feels like we're just like at our turtle space but hopefully um it'll speed up a little more and um yeah it's just like a routine appointment so nothing too crazy and um hopefully we'll get to either see or hear our baby today the first trimester seemed to go by like really quick and then the second trimester still pretty fast not as fast as the first but now that we're entering in the third it feels like it's really really slowed down but I don't know if we're gonna be doing an ultrasound today I mean the baby's grown exponentially since our last ultrasound so uh, if we don't see him today we will be seeing him at a uh, another ultrasound appointment specifically so that we could just see him and uh, that should be pretty soon too. <laughs> doing the 3d 4d and this is supposed to be like the best time between 28 and 30 weeks and we're going to be 29 weeks on friday so we're hoping that we're going to get like a really good picture i've heard from people that like it's eerie like how precise they are as far as like comparing the 3d 4d pictures to like after baby is born pictures um so we're hoping we're D ultrasound. It looks just like Holden, especially the lips and the cheeks. They're both very pronounced. A lot of the pictures he had like his hand up and he even went like this, like he was just done with us. But I don't know if you can like really tell from here, but it looks exactly like Holden. Give a little bit of an update. Uh, we've got the room all set up. We ended up going out and getting our stroller and our uh, our car seat. We were able to get it kind of at a two-on-one through uh, Nuva. The stroller, we wanted to be able to make sure it could actually break down pretty easily. And then um, it came with the car seat. And the car seat we got is like the lightest on the market. So hopefully that'll help just the amount of time we know that we're gonna be carrying it. Um, so hopefully that'll make it a little less taxing on us. And then the stroller itself, we made sure it was like collapsible and can lock in so we can put it in the, in the car or wherever it is that we need to go. So the biggest issue and the most taxing issue so far probably of the whole pregnancy has actually been this room. Uh, we moved all the stuff out of here. Uh, you saw us get the crib set up, saw us get the baby changing station set up. But if you recall, I had these panels that I used when this was my office sound panels I had on the wall, and they were supposed to be safe to remove, but uh, it, it ended up being an absolute nightmare. 
uh, getting them off. Uh, I ended up accidentally, in my attempts to get them off, make, making scratches and scuffs and whatnot against the wall. So damage the wall. This corner here is probably the worst uh, the worst of it. So I, I went through like four bottles of Goo Gone trying to get that crap off and I absolutely regret getting them. It set us back by like a couple days. It took me like two, three days just in here constantly working on them. So I bought these things a while back. They're supposed to help clean the stove and stuff. You can put them on your drill. They're really, really cool. Um, but I, I could not get these things off uh, with my hands. I was really trying my best not to damage the walls. So I was able to use that and for the most part, it, between the goo gone and that, it was able to fling the stuff off, but for some reason on this side of the wall, it just would not come off. You can tell where some of the goo gone there at least remains. Maybe a little bit there. There was one here, and then this one, you can still see some of the residue. So my big project for today is to finish up these walls. Oh, and then it got just all this kind of crap all over the floor, like little remnants of the goo gone and little pieces. So I had to get a mop and I mopped through this whole thing. I washed it a few times. Uh, so this room has just, the, the baby's room has been an absolute nightmare, but I feel like I'm on the home stretch. I'm almost done. So today's project is gonna be cleaning the rest of the walls off. Um, I was able to get some paint from the leasing office uh, touch up paint. So I'm going to go through and touch all this stuff up. Uh, I don't think we can change the color. We were debating like, well, maybe we could make it like a blue or like a baby blue or something, make it more baby roomish. Uh, but I think we actually have to stick with these colors. I got some stuff at Lowe's. So that's going to be the uh, project for the day. All right. I did kind of a preliminary paint job. I went through and I just kind of touched up a few spots on the walls. Uh, you can still see it's a little off, a little wet there. Walls are already looking a little better. You can still tell there's some discoloration there. I'm going to let it dry. And if there's still any of that left over, I'll see about getting rid of that too. A couple days have passed. I've gone through all the spare paint uh, that we had. Got the walls more or less where they need to be. Working on the baby room today. I'm so excited. A lot of the uh, spots that are on the wall have since dried. The only thing that I see that's noticeable, I don't even know if it shows up on camera, that there's a shading difference up on the ceiling there. We've asked for a little bit more paint so we can finish up the last little touch-ups. But uh, I think that we're okay to move forward with getting all the baby stuff where it needs to go, cleaning up and uh, starting to get it ready. I'm gonna clean up the paint stuff and, yeah, yes. and this. If you wanna maybe figure out where you want the crib and this to go, maybe start unboxing or even start starting to put some of the baby clothes away. And I'm also gonna vacuum up the corner spots. But I wanna put the crib here and then Holden had a great point to put the changing table here because just to make it close in proximity, this is all our baby stuff so far. Right now we still need to get the slider and a lot of little stuff. And y'all are gonna think I'm such a loser, but I made this list, like everything that we've gotten for the baby, I write down and then like how many of each we have. So, I mean, the idea is to not get duplicate things. We got the little mobile for him, but it only connects on the like crib side. We were gonna put it on the back end here. Uh, and it's it, it can't even go this way. I like broke it. Not really, but it's supposed to like latch in this way. This is not gonna work out. Not only that, but even if I were to like force it to go this way, it's just like, it looks really unstable. So we're gonna find a new one. We'll try to return this. It really was hard to find a space theme that like matched our ideas of what we wanted. And sometimes stuff that I order on Amazon, I'm very like hesitant. This is an example of why. Yes. And we are at our 30 week appointment and uh, we just heard the baby's heartbeat. Everything looked good. Blood pressure's really good. Had to pee in a cup for the 10 millionth time, which is always just such a blast. And we're gonna talk to our doctor today um, just to make sure that everything is going good. See if there's any other tests that we need to do. Less than 10 weeks before baby's here. It's getting closer. One of the nurses got onto me about having my camera out, even though I wasn't recording. She said I had to put it away. So I pretended to put it away 
and here I am. Very early in the morning, and Holden is not a morning person. And on top of it, we had internet issues last night. AT&T strikes again. We're gonna try and get our baby some, um, or my baby rather, um, some coffee in him, because I think he needs a coffee right now. The manager just came in, got on to me about recording. They're just making sure I'm not filming without permission of the staff and other people, which I always get permission. Dr. Turnbow said she didn't care, so it was fine, so. Uh, but the others, I don't show anybody. Another day in the life. Uh, I honestly have no problem with it. Oh, yeah. I asked you at first, but yeah. I, I brought yeah. it, I, one time I brought in a full camera with a microphone on top and nobody said anything. Um, and she's 30 weeks. The, the petite <laughs> ladies like to hide the babies really well. I'm not trying to, I want a big old belly. <laughs> I was so happy that like, I felt like I popped a little bit in the last couple of weeks, so I got to wear this dress that just like showed it, and he even commented, and I was so happy. Oh yeah, like, oh she my was gosh. like really accentuated. It was like a leopard print, and she's like. Yeah. <laughs> I am on my way to do my maternity shoot. I'm heading out to Crestview. I'm both tired, excited, and just ready to get the photo shoot over with so I can just see the pictures. That's really just what I want. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna document, but I wanted to just try and get something in there. Um, I'm gonna go for just like a classic look. I'm not bringing a ton of stuff. I'm doing like a very basic dress, maybe some fabric photos, nothing too over the top, but I'm really excited just to get some pictures so that I can look back at baby hero when uh, he's still in my belly. And um, I'm really excited, so we'll check it out and uh, hopefully we'll get some really good pictures. Just arrived at the studio, so I'm really excited. So we just got here. This is some of the dresses she had available. I brought some, so it's absolutely gorgeous here. I would actually like, I would have done my wedding here because it's so pretty. We got some stuff picked out, some ideas. I love this. I don't know if Holden will be down with that. So we just got my makeup done. Kristen is here. She did a fantastic job, like perfect, exactly what I was thinking. And now we're doing hair, and then we're gonna do the first look, which is gonna be a green dress. And then we're gonna get into a couple other looks, but the team here has been like really great, really accommodating, just like making me feel super comfortable. So I'm really happy to see what the outcome is gonna be and how good these pictures are gonna look. Uh, we are with Sunita, who is gonna be my photographer. She's fantastic. I was telling her that I had a really great vibe with her. I love her so much. That She's like, look amazing. <laughs> Oh, yes, we got the hair and makeup done, but she was sweet, she was kind, she made me feel comfortable, so I just wanted to introduce you to her. We're gonna get started in just a little bit. She looks phenomenal. She wanted something very elegant, very timeless, so we're gonna try our best to get that going. My name is Sunita. A lot of people call me Sunsetta. I don't know why, maybe because I take pictures during <laughs> sunset, but my focus and my niche is on motherhood and maternity, so I really like capturing mothers in their very rawest form. I like to make jokes, I like to play with people, but when we're in studio, it's a completely different vibe. We wanna focus on the timeless, so that 20 years from now, when you're going down to the attic, you find yourself, you look at your picture, you're like, damn, I look good. So that's my job, you guys. My job is to make everybody look and feel their best from the inside out. I came here from Malaysia. Um, I am an immigrant. My husband is in the Air Force, recently retired. I've got three kids of my own, so this is a passion of mine. Been doing this for five years, you guys, and I don't know what else to say. It's really awkward being in front of the camera <laughs> instead of behind it. She's fantastic, and then we have Kristen back here too. Hi. I work with Kendra K Beauty. I'm born and raised in Florida. I've been doing hair for about five years now, and I've been doing makeup for about one. And I love my job, and I can't wait to see what this looks like. We are gonna go ahead and get started. I'll plug in their information, so if you guys wanna check them out, uh, you're more than welcome to. I highly suggest them. So the dresses look good, the makeup looks good, the hair looks good, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Here at the studio, we got hair and makeup done. Sunita is setting up the uh, background and the lights and everything like that.
sure in the beginning if I wanted to do a maternity shoot, but I'm so glad that I did. There were so many pictures that I really didn't expect much out of when we were doing it, but in the end, they looked really good. And the photographer, Sunita, uh, highly recommend her. Like, she's this ball of energy, but she's so sweet and accommodating and just makes you feel like instantly comfortable. And then my makeup artist, Kristen, was uh, phenomenal. She like, just, I, I didn't even need to go into detail about what I wanted. Um, she just was able to grasp what I was trying to describe. From start to finish, it took about four hours. That's including hair and makeup and then several outfit changes. So I think it was really well worth it. I should get the results in about a week. And it was just a lot more fun than I thought a maternity shoot would be. Um, so I'm really glad that I did it. I can't wait to see the pictures. We've made a lot of progress on the baby room so far. There's still a few more things I have to do. Most notably is I need to do one more dresser. We just don't have enough room for some of the stuff that we've got. Jen is uh, 32 weeks pregnant today. I realized before that we had not actually shown some of the progress of the baby room, so I'll give you guys a little bit of update on that. So it is looking a bit cluttered, but we got this carpet. I'm gonna have to actually move it a smidge because it's running into that. Uh, but we got this nice carpet. We got a couple of wall decorations, some wonderful uh, gifts off our baby registry here too. Jen was working on organizing um, all the baby clothes and we're washing them before uh, we we have them wear them. It's a little cluttered now and I'm gonna start working on the, the other dresser, uh, partly because this one isn't all just clothes, it's like diapers and wipes and all that stuff because it's where, where we're gonna be changing the baby. So clothes, we'll have a couple in there and then mostly in the second dresser. I am uh, getting noticeably more tired <laughs> the closer we get. Jen has been a good bit more emotional lately. This is not me complaining, just an observation. And I'm being as supportive as I can for her. Uh, so for example, she was labeling some of the baby stuff in here. Like here, she's kind of categorizing um, you know, some of the baby stuff. And I came in and I was watching her do this and she was like really, really stressed out. And then the next day I told, I told babe one, she's just, please try to relax. And she's like, I can't relax, I'm too stressed. Her anxiety has been very, very high. The next day I was like, babe, why don't you just use my label maker? And uh, she like dropped everything and she just started crying. She's like, you have a label maker? And uh, my, my immediate response is, you know I do, you've used it before, but she didn't remember. Um, and so she just started crying. So she's been crying a lot more and uh, she's been having a lot of trouble sleeping. And I, I told her that if you have trouble sleeping, wake me up, I don't want you to be alone. Let me try and scratch your back or help soothe you back to sleep. So we're both a little bit more sleep deprived. I'm trying to take on the brunt of uh, the family stuff, trying to take care of the kids. Fox uh, has a ton of appointments and I've been trying to take care of that. Savannah's a 14 year old teenage girl. So I'm trying to take care of some of her uh, special issues, but we're coming along. I know that the room not being finished is a big stressor for Jen. So uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna try and power through, get some of the decorations up, get the last dresser put together uh, and hopefully get it ready to where she's feeling a little bit more comfortable, more relaxed. Uh, because while we're both beginning to get sleep deprived now and as tired as uh, we've been finding ourselves. I know it's going to be worse when the baby's here, so we've got to get it together now. So we have uh, seven weeks left. The clock is ticking. We did not finish the last dresser last time, so I'm going to be finishing it today. I started on it, but I'm going to be finishing it today. The baby room is fairly dirty. Not dirty, it's just cluttered and messy right now. I know that that's stressing out mom. So we're gonna get that in order pronto. coming along nicely. We decided to go ahead and put up the uh, sign for his name. Instead of putting it directly in the center of the wall, we decided to put it in the center between 
um, his changing station and his crib. And we uh, assorted some stars left and right. Um, we'll probably be maybe adding a couple more to this side because even though they're the same amount of stars on each side, this side's a little tighter against the wall. Or sorry, this side's a little tighter against the wall. So it looks like there's just a couple more over there. So we might try to balance that out. But for now, Jen wants me to put a couple of bookshelves on the wall for the baby um, and just general kind of decoration stuff until we get the room kind of the way that we're looking to get it. Jen set up this mini fridge for the baby in the room. I mean, it's, it's for the baby, but the idea is we can put a bottle in there at night, and when baby wakes up at night, we just put it in the bottle warmer and uh, feed baby instead of having to go downstairs. That's the idea. We'll see how it goes. One of the best things that we got uh, is this um, baby monitor. We have been looking like everywhere for the perfect baby monitor or really wanted two cameras. A lot of them seem to have like one thing but not another thing like uh, some of them can like detect the baby's breathing and stuff. Uh, some of them were only like through the like through the app on the phone. We wanted one that it was like an actual monitor and we could look on the phone but it was hard to find like anything being consistent to let us do both. Um, we did find this one. This is a Motorola. Uh, it has two cameras and has a split screen. We can change that and we can look on the app. So we put this one on the baby registry and big thank you to Steve Burdick who got this for us. That was super unexpected. It, it, it honestly has helped us out a lot. Um, so thank you so much, man. But I'm gonna be now working on getting this set up. We are in the final stage of getting the baby's room in order. Jen ordered a couple of uh, kind of wall shelves. Uh, I already installed some other ones, but she ordered these and they are extremely, extremely cheap. They're just like regular wood and uh, we were just gonna put them on there as regular wood, but because we kind of have a color theme, not that I'm a connoisseur of color, uh, but it would be the only like just cheap wood thing kind of against the wall. And uh, I already put them together and I was like, maybe I'll take them apart, paint them, and then put them back together. And I was like, maybe I'll just kind of leave them as is. So Jen and I, we went down to Lowe's and we, I, she picked out the kind of blue that she thinks will kind of match the rest of the room. And I was gonna pick out some stencils, some star stencils to kind of keep to the theme. Um, and then I was like, I have a 3D printer at home. I'm just gonna print some for free. So I'm printing a couple of different star stencils, uh, various sizes. I also got a couple of like Star Wars ones, uh, one of the Death Star, one of Baby Grogu. I'll probably put that on there as well. But right now the, the stars are 3D printing. So the plan is I'm, we're only gonna use two of these. So one I actually might keep here in the garage for, for me. Uh, but I'm just gonna paint the two of them just as is. It might not look very good. This is not a very good like quality wood. Uh, but at least it'll be something. So I've now finished letting these dry. Fun fact, they actually, uh, I, was, I had them outside to dry and uh, it actually rained on them. Uh, it just like started pouring down randomly all of a sudden. So I had to bring them back in, dry them off. I kind of did another coat of paint, but this is kind of the final product of what they look like. I have the stencils all done. I've done a couple of test ones on a piece of cardboard over there. I was gonna spray paint them over, but I think because it just, it, it spreads out and I don't want the any bit of the stencil showing up, I think I'm just gonna paint them by hand. It's just gonna be sporadic. I'm gonna try and do it pretty quick. After I paint them, I probably will do a, a small layer of like a, a gloss coat, a clear gloss coat over it, just to uh, give the paint some protection in case, just to try to prevent it from chipping. So here's more or less the finished product of it. Hopefully it'll blend in well with the rest of the room. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Jen and I actually have to film a couple other things right now, and then uh, I'll be putting that up on the wall today. Oh, you know what I just realized? Is that I still have to install a curtain rod and the curtains for in here. We bought a uh, blackout curtains for the baby room. It's gonna have to be installed right above that window there. So I uh, already got the tools out and stuff, so might as well do that too.
got the blackout curtain installed. There's still a little bit of light that's kind of bleeding on the side. So I think one thing we might do is get some Velcro or something on the fabric and be able to push it like flush against the wall, just kind of as needed, but not bad overall. We got the shelves and the blackout curtain set up. I don't know how much other like things I have to install. I have to put together the slider chair, which will go kind of where Jen is at right now. Are you feeling any less anxious now that it's almost complete? I really want to get the room that's like priority, but then the rest of our house is just, I feel like it's never going to be clean enough. That anxiety is coming through definitely, but I'm really happy that we got like the core of the room done and Holden's been working so hard to get all the little things and all the big things and just make sure we have everything. So we really do have like all what you would consider the essentials. It's just a matter of like fine tuning the rest of the room, but we are almost there. Oh, I actually do know what I still need to install. I need to install the cameras. We tested them out. We got them all up and running, we made sure that we could connect on the app and that we could uh, stream it on the actual device itself. Uh, and it's all working well. The only thing about this is that when we try to, like I wanted to put it like right here above the crib. This is how, this is how it would be mounted. Um, which is, so the crib's right there, but uh, it doesn't go like all the way down. So we're gonna have to like have it elevated kind of to the side. We might have to scooch the crib over a little bit. I might have to have put this kind of more at, a, at an angle. See like that's like, th that's as low as we can get it. And you can kind of see that um, it's at a, not quite a 45 degree angle, but it's not like flush down, you know? And then the final camera will be, I'll probably mount it up in that corner so I can get the full full coverage of the room. You can see I have one right in front. And I'm gonna need to use this to make sure that I have the best coverage. What's wrong? No. You all right? It's coming together. I'll clean up once I'm done putting everything together, okay? I love you. Love you. Try to relax, okay? Try not to get too stressed out. Okay, I love you. I love you. It's gonna be okay. Does it move anymore, right here? It'll move, it'll move up, you know, so if, if we land down there. But this is really the best spot I could get. We can move it down a little bit. So oh, it's really good. It's really just that slight corner. Yeah, I am gonna put, I'm gonna cut that off and I'm gonna get like a wall tape or something to make the cable flush so it's not just this loose cable there. So we'll make that flush against and then when it gets bigger, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll change it up a bit. All right, so here's, the camera just mounted up on the ceiling. There we are. I went ahead and tightened the one next to the crib because it was a little loose. We got a little bit of a we'll get split screen here. We're about seven weeks away from. Jen giving birth to the baby. We had the date today, so Jen and I are gonna go to the local Pace Farmer's Market. We've never been there before. We usually go to the Pensacola one, uh, but uh, this one's a little closer to us because we're no longer in like the immediate Pensacola area. So we just wanna go check it out. We may also stop by the Pensacola one anyway. Uh, so I'm trying to get her up, trying to keep her active. Um, it helps with things like depression and stuff like that for us to go out and uh, do some things together, albeit small. We may not be walking around very long, but just get, just enough to get out of the house. It's a very pretty day so far, and uh, it's supposed to rain later tonight, so we'll be active maybe around now. When it starts to rain, we kind of wind down. Maybe we'll watch a movie or something, just the two of us, and uh, we'll, we'll begin our day. This is the Pace Farmer's Market. Um, Jen got a little upset because I apparently missed the expected mother's parking space, even though I got us a spot that was just slightly closer. It's principal. <laughs> We're gonna have fun, it's gonna be a good time.
dogs and chicks and they baby had chickens baby husky puppies or husky puppies and they also had hamsters i love huskies they do the oh whoa 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 <laughs> Once our doggies die, we can maybe see about getting another one at that point. You can't just replace them! Well, actually, I, I can. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking around. I run dog people. Let's see if I can uh, T-bone this car real quick. Are you mean the Mercedes S-Class? Driving our 10-year-old GMC. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, YouTube money. Come on. We decided to go ahead and come to the Pensacola Farmer's Market too. It's only like 15 minutes away from the Pace one. It's a little bigger, we've been here many times and we might find a couple things to get. I don't know if we're gonna be walking the whole time because I don't, I don't know if you're feeling up to doing that, but. We'll uh, go until I'm Yeah, tired. we'll go as long as you're up to going. We really like the Pensacola uh, Farmer's Market. Just even like the environment and um the people are just always really great so we always we haven't been here in a while yeah it's been, a couple, been about a month or so a month or two but it's the type of thing like even if you don't end up getting anything it's just fun to be around and see all the, all the different stuff. items and food so <laughs> Blueberry bushes, yes sir. How much do those run? Uh, they are $10 a piece. Cool, how long does it take to, for them to be able to produce blueberries? You'll be eating these blueberries in, two, in about two weeks. Oh, okay. You take card? We, we do. You should yes, ask sir. that first, I guess. Here's our card. Okay. Come check us out. We're in Baymanette, Alabama. We're 100% we're organic. Uh, we also have a wide variety of citrus trees. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you all very yeah. much. Congratulations Thank you. Again. Thank right. you. So, I know you've been Sorry, looking now, forward to that yeah, for well, quite been, a while. Yeah, well, we've been talking about getting blueberry things for the yard because I eat so many of them. I had some soil for when I planted daffodils for Jen in our little front yard here, uh, but the people that mow the grass keep mowing over it so they won't ever grow. I just see the little stubs of them all year. And then I used up the rest of the soil when uh, I was replanting some grass because the dogs keep peeing and ruin, ruining the lawn. So I'm out of fresh soil, but it's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and plant them as is and hopefully they'll work out. Hopefully that'll work out and they'll be all right. Come on, baby, grow, grow me some blueberries. Hopefully that one at least will grow. It's been a while since we've had a Saturday where we've had, I guess you could use the term free time because we finished most of our filming. So we're really excited to be able to do some of the stuff that we've been like putting off or just have wanted to do with regards to the baby, with regards to um, just stuff around the house. So we're really, really excited and it's nice to just have a day where we can just have some fun. joining us today. Yeah. Ooh, I got you. Like that one? Yeah. He looks so cute. Those were probably the best pictures so far. He was like smiling. We got really clear pictures of his face. He looks so cute and exactly like Holden still. Excited to see him? Yeah. It's been really cool seeing like the evolution of when we like first came here to now as his face has like developed more. Oh, Daddy, we need to get that other thing, the fighting Pokemon pack. All right, I'll get right on that, buddy. We're about five weeks away from him being born right now, so uh, 
It's been quite the journey. I hear the puppies. A little nervous. Mm. It's okay. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Callie, off, off, off. Come, Callie, come. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, no Hi. 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 Dad is right here. It's Hi. Leo Hadley. Hi. 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 Tarzan soundtrack? Oh yeah. <laughs> Phil Collins. How's it going? Good to see you too. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Just kidding, it's my friend Roger. You didn't <laughs> I like the hat, man. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm so glad you guys came. What's up? How are you? You look fantastic. How do you feel? Hi. 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 No, it's fine. No, it's all good. Let's let's yeah, let's rock and roll. It's all good. Well, I have Tums by my bed, man. Mm -hmm. I do. Jen does too now, but that's because she's pregnant. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah. Grab some note cards. Grab nine. Okay. Um, Start scanning your Why that one? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> open. What? You can't open them yet. Oh, sorry. You have three minutes to create the cutest little baby. Ready, set, go. Dang it, for those of you that are listening. This is fun, buddy. Are we like mixed the Play Dohs? <laughs> still getting there. I'm still getting there. <laughs> Wait, how old is this baby? I'll just put mine over here. I <laughs> can see mine. <laughs> oh, but that one is like an antisocial baby. It's like all the way up. Yeah, it, it feels it needs to be excluded. <laughs> Okay, this seems rigged. <laughs> Gen 1, hold on. Can we give a clap for her for organizing everything? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very well done. Yeah. It all went swimmingly. Yay, Happy! 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 Remember see the Jetsons where she takes the, where no, takes, the takes the money out of the wallet. He takes the money out of the wallet to get to her, and then she grabs the wallet, leaving him only a few dollars. Yes. Okay. It's in the very opening. It's in, it's in literally every episode. I've never seen one. Oh. Okay. okay. Hug a bye, baby. Oh. I guess it's Hadley's now. 
Oh, thank it's you. It's totally awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Couldn't be here today, but she's thinking of you. Okay. Oh, these are so cute. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, my God. So cute. We love dinosaurs. Thank you guys so much. We got so much. Yeah, thank you all. I appreciate it. Thank you. You guys are all wonderful. Thank you, Natalie and Estefan, Dad, for putting this stuff together. Dad, we really Dad, appreciate Dad definitely it. came through. Dad, yeah. Thank you. You guys are wonderful. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. How many do you want, Walden? I'll take them all. Oh. Or however many. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're off to the zoo today, even though I don't know why, because we see animals every single day. Our baby shower was a few weeks ago. Today we are about two weeks away from the baby being born. About two weeks, maybe three, we're pushing it, but um, it's, it's coming soon. Jen's been kind of cooped up in the house, uh, having some, uh, some strong emotions lately, so I'm just trying my best to be supportive and be loving and uh, trying to get us out of the house today. Jen loves the zoo, so I'm taking her out to the Gulf Breeze Zoo. Uh, she said that she wanted some Hispanic food, so I'm taking her to a very popular place here in town called uh, El Asador, which was voted the best taco in the country. Now, I did a video like years back in search of the best taco in Pensacola, and I think they were number two in my list, and the one that was number one actually ended up closing down. Uh, but they're very, like, they're very comparable, so this is like really good, authentic. I don't know if Jen, have you, uh, yeah, Jen's never been there before, so um, we're gonna have just a nice day just the two of us spending some quality time together getting out of the house and uh, our baby's going to be here very, very soon. Not in the best area in town. Now made it to the zoo, the Gulf Breeze Zoo. Make sure we uh, need to make sure you wash your hands yeah. before you eat anything. Look at the babies. Of these filthy animals. Stop it! They're not. Fil Look at that little baby. Oh, I wish I would. She would have been there. I would have given her some. Well, snooze, you lose, pal. Do not. Look at the. Look at the babies over there. Is she alive? I. Uh, I don't know. Get those crumbs. Oh, you're a falcon. They used to have big fish in here. That didn't work out so well. Oh, they're lambs. I thought that was you. <laughs> I mean, it'll do a temporary job. Doesn't really make my hands feel any cleaner. Look at that one. I want to see that one. Because he's probably like lonely. He doesn't care. He's probably too scared. He's probably already been eating from people all day, taking a breather. <laughs> you want some more? <laughs> look at how long his tongue is. Doesn't she look like Falcon? Um, Falcon's a dog, sweetie. But she has the same eyes and the same spirit. <laughs> this is my last piece. She's a little disappointed. Where's my ladies? Thank <laughs> you. 
guys want some food? He goes, oh, he likes your snow. Trying to be the camera guy here. Ugh. <laughs> oh, he Ow. likes you. Ow. We gotta file these things down. Ugh. They like your hair. I am the bird king. Fly, my birds, fly. are so sweet. We didn't see any bears. They had the enclosure for the bears, but they're never there. I think I've only seen it once and I love bears. I really would like to see a polar bear, but for like this little area, I think it's a good zoo. We're now out and about. We are six days away from the baby being born and Jenna's decided to take me out blueberry picking because she knows I love blueberries. So this will be my first time here picking blueberries and we have Savannah with us too. I'm so excited to, to have some fun today. How these contraptions go on. I think we just go around here. Like Do we pay anything up front? Or no, you go pick as much as you like. It's $3.50. Oh, that's a big one. We've been doing a good job collecting. Let's see how we're all doing. Good mine, not many. I've been snacking on most of them. finding some of the good blueberries here. So uh, we found a, a much more plentiful bush bushel right here. This one, the good Lord chose not to bless. I don't know why in his wisdom, but he said, no, that one's not gonna be growing no blueberries. That's all right. Oh, good Lord, there you know. There's some good blueberry picking here today. But they were, they tasted good. They looked really good, and um, I just want to pick every type of fruit now: strawberries, raspberries, more blueberries. So um, I thought it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad that Holden got to experience it because he absolutely loves blueberries. It's like his favorite fruit, and so uh, hopefully that was a treat for him. We are less than a week away from the baby being born and we have been non-stop preparation mode. We got the baby's stroller, baby's car seat already. We've been working to clean up the whole house, making sure it's nice and tidy. We've gone through all the apps and stuff because every piece of technology that has to do with the baby has an app for it. So we got an app for the formula maker, app for a bottle warmer. We got an app for a sanitizer. I still have to install his little baby swing thing. We had the cars all like thoroughly cleaned. I went and pretty much tried to detail it myself. It's already, we're like, no eating in the car. And that lasted for about five minutes. But I got the little mirror set up so I could see him in the back. Here's the base for his car seat. And I've tested it out, make sure it all works. This is where Fox normally would sit. So he moved him over. So I think there's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment for him getting used to 
the baby. So far though, he doesn't really seem to care or even really notice. And it has been a little while since I've filmed in here, but you know the baby room. The big thing that we added now is the slider. So we finally have our chair. This room is more or less done. Here's more things that we need apps for. We got an app for this. We got an app for that. These, th these are actually pretty cool. I don't remember if I hung those up last time, but got everything more or less on the walls the way we want it. So the baby's room is all pretty much done, which is wonderful. We've pretty much gone through and thoroughly cleaned up the house. And the big thing that I wanted to do for Jen was to have professional cleaners come over and clean the whole house. That was gonna be like one of the big surprises, one last thing to kind of relieve or alleviate some of the stress off of Jen. So we scheduled for the dogs to have their baths. We're actually getting rid of the dog beds, replacing them with brand new ones, so it's all clean. We want everything to be like, like we want it to be able to get MRSA in this house. We want everything to be clean and spotless. So I sent the dogs off to get their baths and stuff this morning. We're waiting around and the cleaners never came. I texted the lady I was in contact with. I even texted the owner. I called them. Nobody even got back to me. It was really, really frustrating six days out when we had we planned our day around them coming. And that was something that I was trying to do as a little extra for my wife so she wouldn't have to worry about that. But as you can hopefully see, the house is already pretty clean. When I had scheduled the cleaners, Jen is like, well, we have to clean up. We have to tidy up for the cleaners. And I was like, babe, that doesn't make any sense. We're, there's, why are we cleaning for the cleaners? So we ended up cleaning the whole house anyways, but uh, one of the things that we really wanted done was like the carpet. So yeah, the baseboards need to be done. I was really hoping that like our carpet could be clean. Like we really only have carpet, like in this little patch in the living room. I have a little carpet up here in my, uh, my man nook area. And then the stairs was the big one. So those are like, and just like mopping of the floor. So not even all that much. Needless to say, we're very, very frustrated uh, because that's like, something I was gonna pay a lot of money for, something that would help alleviate a lot of the stress off my wife. And for them to just ghost us uh, is extremely frustrating. And we were also supposed to visit Fox at his daycare because his whole daycare was gonna go bowling today. So we were gonna surprise him, uh, but because we're twiddling our thumbs waiting for the uh, people to show up and they never did, we ended up missing that. So that's really annoying. <laughs> we also have our blueberry hall here. It was very hot outside, but we picked a lot of blueberries. And we washed them, we cleaned them off from the nasty gunk. And now they're all gonna be eaten by Holden Thomas Hartman in the next few hours. Mm -hmm. So enjoy. Probably. So we're just gonna try and find a different cleaner, but it kind of sucks because we had our whole day like planned out and just kind of got screwed up. But um, yeah, the house I mean is in order, but it would have been nice to have a cleaner just come by and do those finishing touches. Last week we were supposed to have those cleaners come out and that was gonna be the big thing I was doing for Jen and uh, they straight up no call, no show, just ghosted us. I was able to find like a carpet cleaner that was gonna, that could come out and just do our stairs, get all the, the dirt and grime and stuff off of those, as well as our living room carpet. And then luckily I was able to make a last minute appointment with another cleaning company. They said they could only come out for like two hours to do like a basic kind of cleaning. I said that was fine. And they came in today and they were like, well, our other people canceled so we can just do the whole house if you'd like. And I said, yes, I would love that. So luckily I was able to get the whole house like super deep clean by professionals. So I was able to do that for Jen and uh, the house is looking pretty good right now. Today is Friday evening. We're gonna have all day Saturday, and then Sunday will be our last official day as a family of four. Jen is going to be induced at 10 p.m. on on Sunday night. So uh, we're gonna be going to the hospital super late. We're trying to plan kind of around that because we both normally go to bed at like 9, 30, 10 anyways. Uh, so the fact that we'll be up and about, we're gonna be pretty tired. All the bags are packed, and then Monday, uh, it's looking like is the day that my son will be born. And I know the actual big question on everyone's mind is what about those blueberries I got a few weeks ago? Well, they have taken to the soil and they actually are growing. Look at that beauty. Granted, there's only like two on here. And this is the other little one. They actually both took to the soil. So I was worried that uh, this one would not, but it, it looks like it has. I've been slowly eating just like one at a time because there's like a pitiful amount. It's like incredibly little the amount that are uh, growing here, but uh, I'm, one day they'll grow into a mighty bush and I'll get to eat as many blueberries as I want. And on top of all the cleaning that was done, uh, the dogs were bathed about two days ago. We got them brand new, a brand new doggy bed. So I got rid of the old ones. They really smelled like old dog. So now we got a brand new clean one. Falcon absolutely loves it. How you like your bed, Falcon? Got a new uh, blanket for her too. You got some floppy ears. Oh, Boston's getting jealous. 
and I uh, put together this thing, which is a Mamaru, and it makes noises and it does this thing here, so I'll be excited to use that for the baby. What do you think, Boston? You think it's gonna be okay? So I don't think we could be more prepared right now if we tried. We have everything we need, and now it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of waiting, and I'm so excited. It's about to get pretty real pretty fast. So the baby is getting induced tomorrow, and I'm on my way to urgent care because something is in my eye. I've been spending the last two and a half hours trying to flush it out, fish it out, and it's just irritating it. I've put eye drops in it, and uh, it is uh, extremely painful. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how red it looks, but uh, it is not comfortable. Uh, so that's the start of this uh, baby journey. One day to go, and I'm going into urgent care because my eye is getting swollen. That's how it's going so far. And a little more than 24 hours, we'll be uh, at the hospital getting induced. And my left eye can't open right now. But they're pretty sure that it's not pink eye. So for those of you that question my bad luck, here we go. Jen was really worried that they might actually not let me in there if I'm contagious, if it is something like pink eye. But the doctor said he thinks that there was something lodged in there. It scratched my eyeball and created a ton of irritation. That's, that's what he said he thinks that happened. Seen better days. Seen better days. This is my life right now. But everything's going to be okay. And uh, hopefully this will heal tonight. Uh, the doctor gave me some antibiotics, a couple other things. So uh, hopefully the swelling will go down. And uh, this won't be in all my baby pictures for the rest of my son's life. It's the day of our induction. My eye is slowly starting to heal, but I still look like Forrest Whitaker. Uh, and the power is out. It has been thunderstorming all day. And uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why today is such a weird day. I hear an alarm going off somewhere. I don't know where that is. Is that from outside? <laughs> the neighbor's hammock just flew into our backyard. Luckily we have candlelight. It's freaking June, what is going on? <laughs> oh, do you see that? Do you see that? Probably, yeah, you hear that? Boston's scared to death. She's so scared. She's just been like shaking and going in between our legs for comfort. It's probably looking really pixelated because uh, it's actually really dark in here, but i am cranked up the ISO in this camera to give us more light, but it's pretty dark in here now. I was already anxious before, but now I'm just extra anxious. I, I don't even know why, because it's not really a big deal. The hospital is gonna have backup generator and all that, so it won't be a problem, but um, be nice if it was like sunny out. <laughs> and Holden's eye was not what it is. <laughs> but it's fine, it's gonna be fine. Hopefully all of this will just subside and it'll be a smooth evening. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Whoa. Yay. Oh, it's charging. Yay. It's flickered on and off a couple times, so hopefully this will be the final, the final one. Let me go check out what that beeping is. Oh, it went away right as I got up here. It's gonna be okay, Boston. It is 7.37 and it's time for me to begin loading up the vehicle with all the things that we need. Our time to be at the hospital is 10 p.m., so less than two and a half hours. We're about to leave for the hospital. We're leaving at 9 15, which means in 20 minutes we're gonna be there. We got the car all packed. I'm really like, my nerves are starting to get to me. The whole day I've been really anxious, but now the realization that I'm about to experience some extended period of pain has um, 
dawned on me. So, um, but besides that, I'm really excited. And uh, I was just telling Holden that more than anything, I'm really looking forward to just seeing him and having that moment where he sees his son for the first time. Because anybody that has children knows that it's an indescribable feeling. And so I'm really excited for him to experience that. We've just been sitting around all day just looking at the clock. So um, hopefully everything goes good. We got dog sitters to watch out for the dogs. One more backpack to get. You ready? Holden wouldn't let me take Falcon with me. I really want well, to. Well, they won't let us take Falcon. She's not a service animal. I could make her a service animal. No, we're not gonna abuse the system, even if other people do. Fine. But I'm just saying that she would really help me out. She would be a support animal. The only thing she's supporting is that bed. We got my 3D printer going. While we're gone, working on a print. <laughs> this is it. We're on our way to the hospital. It's getting very real now. I'm so nervous, but I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. I was not this nervous with Fox or Savannah, so I don't know what's going on. I'm just, I'm a little more anxious. But I'm excited too. I'll feel better when I'm there. Yeah. Here at the hospital, Jen and I just went upstairs. She got checked into the room. Got a nice room by a window. And so now I'm gonna work on bringing up all these bags. Matt's supposed to come by in probably about five minutes and give me a hand. Cause uh, we got quite a, quite a bit of stuff. Protein <laughs> for a newborn. Calorie density. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you feeling? Good, nervous, <laughs> nervous. Like you're, you know, like you're hyper aware that you're about to go through an immense amount of pain. Sure. Okay. You've been sleeping well lately or not? I was not again. Yeah. giving me a lift back to the uh, to the unit here. I just parked the car. It was a good six feet. I didn't want you to have to concentrate on anything. <laughs> um, yeah, Jenna and I were sitting on the porch uh, tonight, and I told her, you know, I was like, you know, Holden, he wants me to slide up there at some point. And I'll probably just be on call just in case he needs anything. And um, we were sitting there talking, and she's like, I really love the name Hero. And I was like, how do you, Tiff? That's pretty badass. Oh, okay. good. I do like that. You excited to see him? Extremely extremely it's uh it's a certain beginning of your life well there goes matt i shouldn't have to come out here for anything else so now we can just go inside and get situated It is now midnight in the hospital and they've started giving Jen Pitocin and her contractions have started. She's watching 90 Day Fiance where one of the guys goes to Russia and sees his girlfriend give birth. And also Friends is on TV and guess which episode it is? The one where Rachel is giving birth. Jen is, uh, Jen is now three centimeters dilated. Honestly, the worst part is this bed, how uncomfortable it is, and all these cords going to the bathroom is just a nightmare. Their wireless um, monitoring is not like working, so we're um, pretty grounded to the bed, which is unfortunate because that's not what was in my birth plan, but we're working with it. So hopefully those last seven 
10 meters are gonna go really, really quick. Jenna's not gotten any sleep. I've only gotten a little bit here and there. And uh, she's uh, struggling a little bit more. How you doing, babe? Not too good. Because she broke your yeah. wall. Yeah, it's like looking out of you. Yeah. 8 a.m., Jen did not get any sleep last night. She's going through a contraction. The doctor came in and uh, broke her water this morning, so uh, she's in quite a bit of pain. How are you doing, babe? I am of my life. We're looking at about another four to seven hours until the baby gets here, depending. Hopefully sooner rather than later. We just had the charge nurse come in, and uh, she was talking to us about recording in the room because uh, it's pretty obvious that we have some cameras in here. We've been documenting since uh, almost about 12 hours ago. There's, we just have received some inconsistent information. Uh, we were told initially that we could film anything and everything up until the birth of the baby. Uh, we've been told that we can film as long as we get permission from staff. And even if not, I would blur them out anyways. We were told that we could film the birth, but just only from Jen's like uh, torso and up. And then that now been taken away. So the charge nurse just said that only when the two of us are in here by ourselves are we allowed to film. So I've, uh, she said that that's like a state law. I need to look into this. Um, I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it only exists to protect the hospital because if they drop the baby and I get that on camera, that's really bad for the hospital. It's not at all for a patient thing. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. I'm a little disappointing and I gotta be honest with you, there's a part of me that's tempted to just film it anyway, discreetly. But uh, I probably won't do that because they said I could get kicked out. And even though I think uh, my, my mm -hmm. toxic character trait is thinking I could probably get away with it, I, I probably won't risk it. Only in this instance will I not risk it. Other, any other instance, I probably would. But uh, I, I, I have to be here. So um, I, I, will, uh, I will not do that. I'm just here to have a baby. There's been a couple frustrating things, I think, so far as far as our birth experience. Um, you know, we put a lot of thought into the birth plan and um, a lot of that stuff that we were told, yeah, not a problem, just uh, mention it when you get there or whatnot, um, is actually not available. Some of the equipment for wireless is just like either not working or they have to order more. And then just some uh, little stuff, um, I, I don't know. It's, it's not a big deal in the big picture of things. We're just here to have a baby, but um, it's a little disappointing, but we're just keeping our uh, eye on the prize and uh, hopefully we're almost there. Last two hours, I would say, has been like really rough. I kind of regret getting the epidural. Yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Jen spent a lot of time doing her, doing the birth plan. We spent a lot of time together working on it. And one of the things that we had asked ahead of time is if Jen could get up and like kind of walk the unit, um, you know, because it kind of it just helps. And uh, we were we were kind of led to believe that yeah, that was a possibility or that was an option. And then when we got here, they're like, no, you can't walk the unit. They had this. Uh, I can't even walk. I can't even get out of bed. They had this like Bluetooth system that they were like trying to hook up. Didn't didn't work the two or three times they tried. And even then, it was like. You can't leave the room. You can like walk around the room if you would like, uh, but that's like the extent of walking that you could do. So there's there's just a few things that we we had requested. We were told, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem that are not available. And I kind of feel like that's why um, like my progress hasn't been that like where we want it. I'm stuck in bed in my birth plan. I wanted to walk around a little bit. That's in a lot of people's birth plan. It's frustrating, especially because we went through the process of like meeting with somebody um, with the hospital to go over the birth plan. Nobody mentioned like any of these things being an issue or like, hey, you should check with them or whatnot. I'm tired, I want my baby. <laughs> I'm not trying to complain or anything, we've just been awake for a long time, almost 24 hours now. I got I got a little bit of sleep last night. I don't think Jen got any. There's a little bit where I saw that she was trying to, but we were tired, we were a little cranky, and um, and then we were told one thing and then I couldn't have. I even called uh, before we came into the hospital a few hours prior to make sure we could do get some of the things that we had talked about. And they were like, yeah, just let them know when you get here. And then we got here and they were like, no. Like it's becoming tough for me to just watch Jen go through all this pain too. I just am feeling just so powerless. You know, I, I can't 
like there's physically nothing I can do to take it away other than just try and comfort and that's um, I don't I don't that's not a very good feeling for me and uh, I, I hate that you're having to go through all this alone I mean I'm here fit you know present but you know what I mean we're just ready for the baby to get here and that's, it'll all be worth it when he's here still no baby we've had to adjust Jen a few times she's uh, getting pretty worn out so hopefully this will start to speed up a little bit more At least now with the uh, epidural, she can get some power naps in, but uh, the nursing staff keeps coming in every 30-ish minutes, so it's hard to fall asleep and stay asleep. They just checked Jen. She's now eight centimeters dilated, which means it's gonna be very, very soon. We're really excited. Jen's been able to get just a couple minutes of sleep here and there, and now she's just shivering to death. She's got like five blankets on. <laughs> and an alarm down the hall has malfunctioned since my presence being here and it's been going off just nonstop. Mm, it's so cold. They said within three hours, uh, they think at the most. What's up? She's throwing up a little bit. She so, seems right. to be like really feeling the contractions. All right, so I'm gonna check her because that could mean that we're wonderfully done all of his tests he's got he's been vaccinated he uh, did his hearing tests everything is fine but we are on very very limited amount of sleep I have not even changed my clothes for the past 48 hours Jen finally was able to get into a shower uh, it looks like the baby's doing well now we're hoping to get discharged today we really just want to go home we have everything set up at home that we need but uh, hopefully they'll, they'll let us go home today normally I think you're supposed to wait probably until tomorrow, but um, we're going to see if we can go home a day, you know, about 12 hours earlier. I'm exhausted. I officially have not slept in a day and a half, almost two days. I had some good bonding time with little Hero last night, just me and him doing some like skin to skin and just him like looking around and uh, of course feeding, so that was just like, I, I wouldn't trade that for anything. 
Um, and he's just such a good boy. I know all parents say that, but he really is. Like, he's just very good nature, very innocent, and um, we're really happy. We want to get home. We're just enjoying our time. We're ready to go home. Maybe the time she stories to tell. Maybe forgiveness is right where you fell. Where can you run to escape from yourself? Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Salvation is. It is 424 and we've just got our discharge orders so I'm really thankful that baby is healthy enough for us to be able to go home today. I really did not want to spend another night here in the hospital. We're going to go home to our own place and uh, get acclimated to our, our new life. I'm so happy to go home with this little guy and show him his room and um, overall we've enjoyed the last 24 hours. Just being able to bond with him. Just look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> this cat's over is that like? None of his clothes fit because he's so small. But that's okay. So we're really excited to go home. Yay! <laughs> Spending some time, been spending some time just organizing some of our stuff. Baby's here in his bassinet. Jen is gonna feed him in about an hour. And then I've asked her to try to get as much rest as she can. And I'll probably take, take first shift with the baby while she rests. He's so cute. Baby's been home with us for about 36 hours now. Even though we're not getting much sleep and we're waking up multiple times at night, I'm just so ecstatic having him here with me. I just love him so much already. And uh, Jen's been, I've been trying to keep Jen just in bed and relaxing um, as much as she can. Uh, I've been trying to do the brunt work of like laundry and housekeeping kind of stuff. Uh, and now I'm drawing her a bath that she can relax. She's been having trouble kind of sleeping in shifts with me. I'll try and nap for an hour or two in little blocks, and when I try to get her to nap or sleep for a little bit, she just like can't. So ideally it would be we kind of take turns, we kind of take these little shifts if the baby needs to be awake, but she's not sleeping at all. So I'm really trying to get her to just relax and sleep for as long as she can. I, I don't mind staying up. So uh, set, her, um, set her up a little bath here. Check on the baby. We've now been home for a few days and we had organized it so that the kids, Fox and Savannah, would be gone for the first few days of us being home just so we could acclimate, so we could get adjusted to our new sleep schedule, so we could adjust the dogs properly. Uh, but today, they come home. So uh, the kids have been very, very anxious, especially Savannah, to see the baby. So uh, I'm gonna go get them, bring them home, and uh, we're gonna all be together for the first time. Just got home. And we're gonna go see, oh, Savvy's already gone. They had to, all the kids had to wash hands before they go touch him. I know. All right, buddy. Oh, 
careful, the stove is hot, so be careful, okay? All right, all right, all right, let's go, let's go. Baby's in here, you wanna see? In here. Where you going? Got the baby's. I, baby's in here. I know, but I have to put this away. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. You see him, Savvy? Oh yeah, we got inside voice, inside voice. Because he's sleeping. Come here, come. Come, come, come. Shh, shh, shh. Come. Oh. You wanna kiss him? Come see him, you can come. You can come up. Come on. I really want Sonic 2. Fox! <laughs> Can I hold him? Yes, you may. Alright, you wanna watch Sonic 2? No. I'll, I'll put it down downstairs, okay? No, I changed my life. Okay. Can I play on mommy's? Not, not right now, not right now. Was that you or Fox? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. That was you? We're going on our first outing with the baby. Baby's been home for a little over a week. He's already grown. Fox is at summer camp right now, so Savvy will be coming with us. The baby's gonna be coming with us. It'll give us time to practice with the stroller and uh, see how he does in public. So this will be a good little milestone for us. So far he does really good um, with like car rides and just being out and we went out the other day and we were gone for like two hours and he did really, really good. So uh, hopefully that continues. Nine months because I found out I was pregnant at like just like very early on so right away I cut out the caffeine and it feels good to be back. Hero slept the entire time pretty much and um the time that he didn't he was fine. Just did his first bath. I'm not crazy about the little bathtub thing we've got. I, I might have looked into a better way to bathe him. He was pretty miserable and I was hurting, leaning over him. Okay. You're doing okay. so good, buddy. Okay, bud. Okay. Here's little peachy. I know. All done. See, you're not too bad. We gotta work on that. I think we gotta practice, me and you. Mommy did perfectly, of course, but we gotta practice. It's been a few days. I really was not happy with the way the first bath went, so I went out and bought this thing to kind of bait him in the sink. That way I'm not like leaning over. It's, uh, it's a little bit more comfortable for him. So it's just more comfortable all around. Poor you guy. okay? Poor guy, he's just over this. There we go. Yeah. Good it's boy. So good. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Colton and I were as gentle as we could be, but he's just so tiny that it's, it's hard. Um, I know babies just really don't like baths at all because it's cold and it doesn't help that we have like our air conditioning right over the sink. 
Um, but he did very, very well. I, bath time is like always my favorite. <laughs> six weeks since we've been home with the baby and he has grown so much looking like a big boy at his first day of daycare this week he's doing really great <laughs>